Hey guys, what is up? It's Laura here, back with another video. So today's video is going to be about the various features that there are on TikTok. I did record some past videos um, talking about the various features that there are on TikTok, but a lot has happened in the past couple of months since I have made that video. So let's just get started. So the first thing, and all this information is from just like me going into different lives and seeing like what's going on with that. So I follow a couple of businesses that happen to promote their stuff on TikTok. I mean, like TikTok isn't their main avenue, but they happen to have a business page. So one of the things that you can actually do is you can actually link your Shopify account, which you, Shopify is a lot more popular when it comes to making like your own business website rather than Etsy, just because like Etsy takes fees and Shopify just has more like customizable fe features when it comes to your website. So you can actually connect the Shopify account to the TikTok to the point where it, I believe it's business accounts only. I haven't actually tried it for myself, but when you have the business account and you connect the Shopify with it, there's actually like a screen on your profile that can show items to be shopped, kind of similar to Instagram, where you have like a separate tab on the profile where you can legitimately order items straight from the TikTok page. As well as if you go into a live, this was actually a feature that I thought was cool as um, just like hopping in where say you're going live and you're showing like i'll use this as an example so you show the product you have it like up in your hands you're describing the product all like that well you can actually have a feature where it changes the product that you're showing so like you can buy straight from the live but when people hold up different items you can also change it where like it adjusts to that so you can still see the listing of the item in real time. So say someone asks, um, can you like describe these potato chips? So you hold up the potato chips, it'll show the current shoppable listing of those chips. And then if another person asks, I want to see like this Coke bottle or whatever, then you can change the listing for that too, which... I mean, personally, I don't have, like, the greatest luck when it comes to getting, like, a crap ton of people to go live. Um, like, you know, watch me live. But some businesses, like this one candy business that I follow, they had, like, 2,000 people in their live once. And literally all they were doing was, like, answering questions and packaging orders. So that would be a perfect time to do that. The other thing is, so you guys know how there's like a weekly rank type of situation. So the weekly rank from, if you guys like look at that, I, I mean, obviously it changes every week, but they have a couple features where they have like a speed round. So how the speed round works is essentially you're given like 15 to 30 I'll just reiterate what the weekly rank is if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Essentially, the weekly rank is the top 99 people, like, all over the U.S. I don't know if it means, like, country, too. Maybe it is the top people in, like, the whole world. It's the people that get donated and gifted the most in that week. So... It goes 1 to 99, and 1 to 20 are the people that get the extra bonus cash from TikTok. So you get 6 to 7 days to go ahead and see how much money you can get. Um, I don't know the exact specifics of it, but this one larger creator, um, I think his name was like Cody something, he said that um, estimation-wise, you get around... I want to say $5,000 per 1 million diamond slash like points. And as of right now, I believe the two highest gifts that one can receive is a TikTok universe, which is I think like 35,000 diamond slash um, points or a lion, which I think is like 30,000. But they update their gifts like so often. There's probably going to be new gifts out but yeah so i think the lion and the 
the universe i think they're both a little bit more than five hundred dollars to send which personally i think that's like a lot of money to like send to someone as a gift like a donation like if i'm gonna send that much to someone who's like even my favorite creator i would think that you know it'd just be easier to venmo them the money or something i don't know that's just me but some people are big into the competition thing especially with dual lives like to see who can get on top yada yada so once you like get the gifts see like what ranking you're at um you know you just see if you can get the top 20 i guess is how that goes i do wonder though if like your main source of income would be you doing these like live matches like if somehow you were able to get enough donations to get that five to 20k i've seen people finish the week off with like five million diamonds before like even though it's technically considered a donation i would consider that also to be income like you can't just not work and then make all of those donations and just claim it as no actually legality wise i don't know but i do know that there's no way you can make that much an in income and just not claim any of it you know what i mean um but what I was saying before about, um, <coughs> the weekly rank is, yeah, that's how it goes. So you have, like, your speed round. So what's cool about the speed round, which is the 15 seconds to the 30 seconds, is, and this is obviously assuming, you know, there's people in your live, like, taking part. Um, essentially what it does is if you gift roses or, like, something along those lines it actually doubles the points and i learned this from someone else if you actually want to donate to someone it's i think they said 25 to 30 percent cheaper if you purchase your like diamonds slash um in-app currency on a desktop computer rather than doing it on your phone i think i'm not entirely sure why but I think it's just because most people, when they're using TikTok, they use it on their phone. So it's just, like, easier for them to do it that way. So, yeah. Not entirely sure if that's, like, common knowledge. But also, another thing to note. You can only take out $1,000 per day from donations. So there's some people... Like, you would obviously imagine the people that are getting, like, 5,000 diamonds. Like, that's, you know, you would, you'd only be able to take out so much of that. Or the people that make more than five. I, I meant to say five million diamonds, yeah. But the cap is $1,000 per day that you can take out. Which, like, shoo, if I was getting $1,000 a day, that, that would be incredible. But... So that's another thing to look out for. Another feature that I've noticed when it comes to the whole like tipping videos is you actually need a decent amount of followers for that. You need 100K before you can be eligible to have your videos tipped. You, it's still the same for going live with the only the 1,000 and then for the monetization program, 100,000 views per month as well as the 10,000 followers. But I thought the tipping thing was interesting. Um, I think they just assume if you have over 100K that like people would be like more inclined to tip or that you have a large enough audience where at least someone would tip. I'm not entirely sure what else um, would be the reasoning for that. Another thing that I noticed is I feel like they've been definitely adding more promotions when it comes to like promoting videos obviously to make more money but i get a lot of like notifications from tiktok saying oh like save 20 percent if um on your bill to go ahead and promote your videos so you can either pay to have more views more um website clicks and i think more likes something along those lines but it's really expensive most of the time like individuals don't actually you know make the point to do that it's mostly brands but i still think that it's kind of cool <coughs> that they promote that because you never know if someone who has like a small business would like think to 
you know, promote their item. Um, off the top of my head, that's like the only big differences that I've seen with TikTok. Um, people have said that if you are happen to be in the top 20, that your videos get pushed out, you get like a ton of followers. I don't per se think that the followers correlate with you going live and making it to top 20, but I do think the views are like pushed out. Because logically it would make sense for a company as big as TikTok, like if they see that you're top 20, they think to themselves, well, it wasn't easy for them to get top 20. That's a lot of donations. So we're gonna push out their videos to more people maybe they'll get more donations and then we get more of a cut because TikTok actually does at least when you're purchasing the gifts like from the phone at least when i did the math i think the take home for like the creator was a really small amount i think it was like 30 or 40 percent which like don't get me wrong like if you're in the top 20 you're still making bank but they're gonna promote your videos because TikTok's making a ton of money from you so yeah, basically those were the new features that I found. If you see any other features that I didn't mention, feel free to put them in the comments and give your thoughts of what you think these new features are and how great they are or how bad they are if you don't like them. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!